is Aliyah and welcome back to Cooking with Aliyah International Edition. And today we're in a very special home with this my friend Roy and my friend Miwa. Konnichiwa, Roy desu. Konnichiwa, Miwa desu. Wow, as you can guess, they're from Japan. Yes. Roy, what are you teaching us how to make today? We're gonna make some sushi rolls today. Ooh, who does not like sushi? Is it popular in Japan? Very popular. People love sushi. We have fancy places and also uh, cheap places for family. Because it can get like really expensive for families, right? right? Okay, yeah, I like sushi. Yeah. But uh, what is the most popular sushi in Japan? Like a roll or, or fish or something? Uh, I think that's tuna nigiri. And tuna? Yeah, mm -hmm. also, also popular. Yeah. Well, as you can guess, I love sushi, so I'm so happy to make this video. Is it hard to make? Easy for us, but not for you. No. Oh. <laughs> so that's why we're here. We yes. want to learn how to make it the easy way. Yeah. One last question. I love what you're wearing. How do you call this? Well, we call this yukata, which is a casual and relaxed type of kimono. Nice. But only for summer, actually. Wow, yeah. we all need a yukata. And Miwa, you're going to make the roll with us, right? Yes. The Japanese style. <laughs> Yay! How do you say yes. let's go in Japan? Okay, so, hajimemashou. Hajimemashou. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> let's start! Yep. So, what do we start with, Roy? Oh, we're going to start cooking rice. Okay, so it, it seems like a lot of the roll has rice, so it's important to have good rice? Yeah, very important. You know, the success of sushi depends Almost 80% on rice. Okay, so this is a very important step. Yes. So what do we have here? We have short grain Japanese rice. Okay, so if I go to the store, I look for short grain mm -hmm. in and Japanese. Yeah, you, you, sh you can also ask for Japanese rice or, or rice sushi for sushi. Rice? Yeah. Okay, good, awesome. And then? And this is rice vinegar. Mm -hmm. That we can find anywhere. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. popular. And this is white sugar. And salt. Okay, so it's not like a lot of ingredients. Very right? simple. Yeah. Very simple. It's just the method. Yeah, method. Yeah. Okay, so let's see how to make this. Right? Yeah. So first we're gonna rinse rice. Okay, just with water. Pour the water. Mm -hmm. A lot of water. Mm -hmm. Everything. Um, out. Okay, so you just put it in and out right. quickly. Then we'll cream with my fingers, like this. Quickly. Not too strongly, but not too softly. It's cleaning. Maybe about 20 or 30 times. 20 or 30 times? Yeah, so that's like, like a workout. Yeah. <laughs> then we're gonna rinse rice again. Not washing this time, we'll just rinse until the water gets clear. After rinsing four or five times, the water gets really clear. Then, we'll pour the water again and sit it here for 30 minutes. Let's cook the rice with medium-high heat until the water is boiled. Make sure to put the lid on. Once the water is boiled, reduce the heat to medium and cook it for 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, don't open the lid but reduce the heat to medium-low and cook it for additional 10 minutes. While we are cooking rice, we are going to make sushi vinegar. We are going to mix sushi, I mean rice vinegar, sugar, and salt. And just simply mix it. Okay, now 10 minutes passed. Since our rice is ready, I'm going to remove this from the heat and set it here for additional 10 minutes. Okay, now we're gonna mix rice and sushi vinegar. We're going to add sushi vinegar onto rice little by little and then cut the rice. So you actually don't like stir it, you cut no, it? No stirring because we don't want the rice to be too sticky. Okay. So you go around and you like slice it in yeah. a way. Okay, then we cover the rice with wet towel so that the rice doesn't get dry. 